Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to make beef in Guinness. Guinness, the world renowned Irish stout, helps to tenderize tougher cuts of meat. The roasted barley makes it a flavorful addition to stews and casseroles. Stews like this often taste even better a day or two after they are made. Step 1 You will need the following ingredients to serve 4 to 6 people 1 kilogram of beef cut into cubes, 15 grams of butter, 3 carrots, peeled and diced, 1 onion, chopped, 4 celery stalks, chopped, 2 tomatoes, peeled and chopped, 300 milliliters of Guinness beer, 450 milliliters of chicken or beef stock, a few sprigs of thyme, 2 bay leaves, 6 allspice berries, 3 tablespoons of flour, 6 tablespoons of vegetable oil, 2 tablespoons of chopped parsley, and some salt and pepper. Here is a quick list of the ingredients. You will also need the following utensils. Two trays, a saucepan, a slotted spoon, a set of tongs, a wooden spoon, and a spoon. Step 2. Preheat the oven. Before beginning the recipe, set the oven to 180 degrees centigrade or gas mark 4. Step 3. Prepare the meat. Place some of the meat onto a tray and generously season with the salt and pepper. Then dust it with some flour and mix it up a little with your hands. Repeat with the rest of the meat. Step 4. Brown the meat. Place a saucepan on high heat, add the oil and butter, and allow the butter to melt. When it has melted, add some of the beef cubes and cook them in batches. You don't want to overcrowd the pan or they won't cook evenly. Let them brown for a couple of minutes on each side. Remove them from the heat and put them onto a tray. Repeat with the other batches until all the beef is browned. Step 5. Begin the stew. Next, put a little more oil into the pan. Then, add the onions, follow with the carrots, and then the celery. Now, stirring occasionally, let them cook for a few minutes until slightly softened. Return the meat to the pot along with all its juices. Give it a little stir, then add the Guinness beer and the stock. Bring it to a simmer and then skim the surface to get rid of any impurities or excess fat that accumulates on top. Step 6. Complete and stew. Add the tomatoes, the thyme, the bay leaves, and the allspice. Give it a stir. and cover it with a lid. It is now ready to go into the oven. Make sure that your saucepan doesn't have any plastic bits that might melt before you do. Leave it to stew for two and a half to three hours. Halfway through the cooking process, remove the lid and allow it to cook uncovered to reduce the liquid. Step 7. Remove, garnish, and serve. When the time is up, 
Remove the stew from the oven and garnish it with chopped parsley. The malty Guinness will have combined with a sense of the meat, herbs and spices making the stew a treat for the nostrils as well as for the taste buds. It goes well with Champ, an Irish mashed potato dish, the recipe for which can be found on our website. And that's how to make beef in Guinness. Enjoy your meal!